Good day to you my friends, I'm Kenator and the devs of Dice Sphere program have just shown off some of the new upcoming combat update. Let's take a look. I have covered Dyson Sphere before back when it launched nearly two years ago and had a good old time playing it but it always felt like it both should have and needed to have combat in it as well. And to my delight the devs said that this was started at last year's Tokyo Game Show. Jump ahead to today, one year later at this year's Tokyo Game Show and we have a brand new trailer titled Rise of the Dark Fog. And this trailer ominously starts in space with some sort of self-building object something that is spreading across the universe, producing defenses for itself as it goes, as well as looking out for other technological activity. These defensive ships look more like an armada. These ships are pretty cool looking with a spiky angular design, which makes them look quite threatening. It looks like there'll be no hiding from this mysterious enemy, not if, but when it finds you. But from the looks of the trailer, it will not find you a threat to start with so you won't have to worry straight away. But as you tech up and upgrade your base and Icarus mech, it will start seeing you as a threat and treat you as such with ever increasing difficulty. But fear not, it looks like we're getting a whole host of new things that will be able to fight back from cannons and beam weapons to what looks like a planetary shield, which I will bet will be hugely power intensive to run. These battles look fantastic as your planet becomes a massive weapons platform versus the fleets coming your way. And seeing everything in space from the planet's surface looks awe-inspiring with the huge ships and structures both in orbit and further out. I have many questions about this already. Does it primarily affect your starter system? Does this enemy travel to the other systems you visit? Or will you find them already there? And while it doesn't look like we need them, will we get combat ships of our own? This update looks to breathe a lot more life into the game and possibly bring a lot more new players in that would prefer the included combat. But if combat is not your thing and you just want to enjoy the chill factory and galaxy wide automation gameplay, then you'll be happy to know that this mode of gameplay is completely optional. Now if there's one thing Dyson Sphere program was noticed for other than its great gameplay, it's how polished this game was at launch as an early access title. And they want to continue this level of polish to this new huge update. And this sadly means it's pushed back to 2023. And although delays suck, I wish more devs would do this, even in early access. On the upside, they have said there will be more new content between now and the major update, and if you haven't played it since the launch bars around the game, there's been a whole load of new and optimized bits and pieces put in. So why not jump back in while we wait? I know I will be. Thanks for watching, like and sub for more, and until next time, Kenator out.